Good morning, we are just about to leave for the gym. I'm training legs, we are doing a push chest shoulders workout. And straight after we are going to the Alba Thermal Hot Springs, which we have not been to yet. I booked it for Simi's birthday a couple of weeks ago, but he was sick, so we've had to reschedule twice now. I'm currently just drinking an English breakfast tea. We usually have we usually have salt because sodium is really good for you. We just have it as salt because you don't need fancy electrolyte supplements. Reminds me of summer because it feels like drinking seawater. Thank you. Me to be careful of the camera. You're right there. <laughs> Don't look. 
be careful with that salt. Unbelievable. I just vacuumed yesterday. As you can tell, it's absolutely spotless. And there she is, just dropping salt everywhere. Here we have rosella tomato sauce. And the only reason I bought it is because it does have rosella birds on it. God, this is really rough. I'm such a princess. Getting to eat my meals at home every day. And now like, I'm just having a bit of a temporary meltdown as I try and prepare this on the go. <laughs> Workout done. I'm giving you the... Oh, sorry. I've been to hold all that and drive. <laughs> I did offer to drive. Oh, that felt good. That was such a good workout. I agree. Do you know where we're going? Yeah, to Peninsula Hot Springs. No. Same shit, it's just like, it's like yeah. right, across the road from Peninsula Hot Springs. 54 minute drive. Keep drive, Shrek. We have just stopped at the servo. We're about half an hour away. I'm still eating my, I would say chicken and rice, but it is just rice at this point. Just gonna add more salt. The training was really good. I went through banded horse squats as prescribed by my physio, just because I want to really drill in the habit of pushing my knees out. It's been annoying because the last time I was doing squats, I was squatting like 80, 90 kilos for all my working sets, but I really scaled it back down to 60 kilos and I'm just focusing on executing each rep perfectly before I go to add any more weight. There's really no point adding weight if your form is just getting worse and worse. That's how you develop injuries. And I to be lifting for as long as possible so we're gonna take our time play the long game is that the thing something about doing things long term so core squats they went really well i did start getting a bit of lower back pain not pain but i felt them a bit in my lower back towards the end so i'm going to buy some new bands because the band i have is really thick and it's really strong there's too much resistance for squats so i want to get a slightly lighter resistance band for my squats just so i'm not pushing that hard to push my knees out and then i moved on to the hip thrust. I was going to do leg press, but it was taken today. Instead of doing the staggered stance single leg, which I've been doing for a while now, I did both legs at once, but I used a band and really just focused on pushing my knees out and extending through my hips. So no lower back arching, keeping my core nice and tight and my glutes were burning. After that, I moved on to the isolateral leg press. I love this leg press. It just feels really nice on your hips. You can really push through your glutes and hams as well. It just feels a lot more natural. I'm really not a fan of traditional leg presses. The isolateral leg press, you can do one leg at a time and I really just focus on coming down slowly, pausing at the bottom, pushing up and just keeping it really controlled so knee as not shaky as possible. After that, I was going to do the lying hamstring curl but that was being used so I did literally one set of split stance for many deadlifts on the I think it's called a squat lunge pattern machine uh, I love that machine for Romanian deadlifts of any kind just because of the neutral grip but compared to a bar and I feel like you can get a really nice stretch without worrying too much about holding the bar so I did one set of those and then we basically had to go because we've got our booking for the thermal springs and I initially had it for 7 30 and then I called them and said I probably won't be there until 8 30 and it's currently 8 40 so we probably won't be there until about quarter past nine, but that's cool. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. And yeah, that's basically all I've been doing on my leg days. My leg days really don't have a million exercises. It's usually just three or four that I try and nail. I would ideally like to do a bit more volume. I've been a little bit slack with leaving myself enough time to train. So I have had to cut my workouts short, but it's kind of been good because I haven't been overworking myself and it ensures that I can execute all my exercises with good form. Thanks, Dave. No worries. I'll be five cents. I'll write you a check. It's the lead. Yeah, it's just straight rice. Wow. All done at the Thermal Springs. The car park is full now, which we did not expect. Off we go, I'm driving home. It was really nice, aesthetically pleasing. Couldn't really film much, unfortunately. Going straight. You are going where your heart 
Okay, yeah, left, left, left. There was some security lady walking around and she told these people off for taking photos. So you're not allowed to take photos. But like everyone walks around with their phone. We mainly used one pool at the top and then the steam room, the dry sauna and the cold plunge twice. Once you get out, it feels really nice. Like your body feels electrified and you're like zingy. Zesty. Yeah, you feel zesty. So that was nice. That was what we finished with. And then we left. So we did actually want to go go-karting today to try like his new GoPro. However, I was actually to whip your ass because you always talk about how great of a driver you are. So Babe. I wanted to see on the Babe. scoreboard, Babe. on the on the times, Babe. on each lap, what the total would be over the course of 10 or 15 laps per race on three races to confirm. I would smash. I yeah, actually yeah, go. Say, say, say what you play, want to say. When we played Gran Turismo last, I actually was beating your lap time by like point three of a second on this specific track that we did. Mm, after you crashed into the guardrail 15 times. It's called practice. Today yeah. we will not get a chance to witness me beating Samia at go fighting because Phillip Island is like a what? It's about an hour and a half if I'm driving or about an hour and 40 minutes if she's driving. I'm Yes, left. Am I driving so good? Doesn't even know where she's driving to. I'm not using maps. I've only lived in Australia for 12 years. We have a visitor waiting for us. Hello. We have just arrived back home and our friends have come to visit. Hello. Are you the dirty one? Oh. Look at him. How did he get so muddy? What have you done to yourself? Hello. Just re-eating some potatoes, which I cooked yesterday. Thank you to myself for preparing that. And we're also having some chicken. Name a more cliche meal. You need to burn yourself. Bad boy. Samir reckons that Thailand has the best coconut water. So we are doing a blind taste test. We have old Coco Bella packaging made in Thailand. We have raw sea from Vietnam. This is Coco Bella as well, but supposedly they've changed the packaging. You can't look at them. You just have to like drink them. First one. Coco Bella. The middle one there was the Vietnamese. <laughs> you can just like, I don't know what it is. No! But it's like, it's got a lack no. of coconut. No! Oh my god. Wow, right on my balcony. 